Hey there, this is MathCamp321 presenting the solution to question number 23 of the Park Algebra 2 practice test from school years 2014-2015. In this two-part question, we're asked to consider the expression 3 to the x minus 3 to the x minus 2. And in part A, they're asking us to find a more simplified version of this. Before we begin, let's take a look at the warm-up exercises off to the right. Number one, we're asked to multiply two powers of the same base. And the rule is, if you're multiplying powers of the same base, you retain the base and add the exponents. So our base is five, and our exponents are x and three. And we're supposed to add them together. So I end up getting x plus three as my exponent. Let's practice another one. And number two, we're supposed to multiply 10 to the x times 10 to the negative third. Once again, we're multiplying powers of the same base. So we're going to retain the base and add the exponents. The sum of x and negative 3 is just x minus 3. Now let's take this same idea that we saw in examples 1 and 2, but this time let's go backwards. Now we're starting with 7 to the x minus 1 power. Let's break that into the product of two powers with the same base. This would be 7 to the power of x times 7 to what power do you think? If you said negative 1, you're correct. And to check yourself, you could just start on the right-hand side and go backwards until you get to the left side, as we did in problems 1 and 2. The next skill that you need to know to do this problem is the rules of negative exponents. So in number 4, we're asked to simplify 2 to the negative 4th. Well, this becomes 1 over 2 to the 4th. And 2 to the 4th is 16, making the answer to this 1 16th. So now when we look at the problem that they're actually giving to us, what I could do is focus on the right-hand side and write this as the product of two powers with the base of 3. So I'm going to start with the left term, which is 3 to the x. I'm not going to do anything to that. And then I'm going to have a minus. And then I'm going to write this as 3 to the x times 3 to the negative 2. So to make it very clear, the first term, I didn't do anything to, I just rewrote it. But the second term, I split apart into a product, each with a base of 3. Now I'm going to do one more manipulation. I'm going to leave the first term alone, leaving it as 3 to the x minus. And now what I'm going to do is deal with this second factor. 3 to the negative 2 is the same thing as 1 over 3 squared. So essentially, I took this negative exponent and I moved that term down. So in the end, we end up getting 3 to the x minus 3 to the x over 9. And this is one of our answer choices. This is answer choice D. So now we're on to part B, where we're still considering the same expression but now they want us to simplify until we can get it into the form of a times 3 to the x. And then we have to figure out what this value of a is. So this is going to require a bit more manipulation. In blue, this is where we've left off from part a. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a slight rewrite of the second term. And instead of calling it 3 to the x over 9, I'm going to call it 1 9th of 3 to the x. So I'm thinking of that 1 9th as a coefficient of this other expression, 3 to the x. And now I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor of each of these two terms. And the greatest common factor would be 3 to the x. Now remember, to take out means to divide. So if I have 3 to the x and I divide by 3 to the x, I'm left with 1. And there's a minus sign here. And then if I've got 1 9th times 3 to the x, and I take out or I divide by 3 to the x, I'm left with 1 9th. Now, 1 minus 1 9th is really 9 9th minus 1 9th, or 8 9th. So we have 3 to the x times 8 9th. Now, multiplication is commutative, so the order doesn't matter. So I'm going to write this as 8 9th of 3 to the x or 8 ninths times 3 to the x. And if I look at that response, and I look at the template that I'm trying to fit it to, there seems to be a match here. 
And it seems like the value of A that we're looking at should be 8 ninths, which is answer choice C.